Hello students, Assalamualaikum. Uh, this is the third video in the series and we are going to talk about the reliability and validity of scales, uh, how to analyze them using the SPSS. So I'll take you to a data set and from where we will analyze these uh, measures. Uh, in terms of reliability, we are going to calculate the Kornbeck alpha. Uh, for validity, we are going to look into the convergent validity, that is the correlation of the items within a construct. And for discriminant validity or divergent validity, we make sure that our items within one construct are not correlated with the items outside the construct. So uh, to calculate that, we would conduct a correlation analysis and um, uh, let's move into the data. So I have a data set over here which has uh, around six constructs. You can see over here if you can see in the screen. Hmm. So I have this construct that's called RQ1, RQ, and it has four items. Then after that, I have WR. WR has three items and so on. So I have a lot many constructs over here and I'll con I'll first of all go for Kornbeck alpha. Kornbeck alpha is calculated one by one for each construct that we have even in our research and let's start with it. To conduct the Kornbeck alpha re the statistics you would need to go to analyze. Click on analyze. Right underneath we have this scale Within the scale, we have reliability analysis. Now, I'll, I already have selected this QR1, Q, uh, RQ2, RQ3, and RQ4. These are the four items within my construct. When I'm going to the statistics, it would ask me like what kind of uh, information I need there. I need the items, the scale, and the scale if item is deleted. I'll explain these to you one by one when we get the output. So we'll just click continue over here. And the model that we need is scorn back alpha. So we are choosing alpha over here. And that's it. Let's go and look into the output here. This is our output. Now, you can see over here it's saying reliability. So it's a reliability analysis that we have conducted here. And the output related to the reliability is that the Kornbeck alpha for this particular scale is 0.76. Now the cutoff for the Kornbeck alpha is 0.7. Any scale that has a reliability less than this value is not good. You would have to then uh, look into the other elements that how to improve the reliability. And the number of items that I have here are four. It's mentioned here four items and the Kornbeck alpha is 0.76. Now, one way in which you can improve the reliability of the construct is by <clears throat> removing some of the items from your construct. Now, if you look at this table over here, it says item total statistics and it has Kornbeck alpha if the item is deleted over here. Now, if I delete Q1, my Kornbeck alpha would reduce to 0.73, which is not good. I already have a higher value, so I would never do that. If I remove RQ2, it would become 0.641. So in case if your Kornbeck alpha is less than 0.7, you can look into this column and it might help you that by removing one of the items, maybe you can improve the Kornbeck alpha value. Now, how do we report it in <clears throat> in a paper? I'll show you that. This is how it would be included. Like, uh, look at this table over here. It's called reliability analysis and factor validity. You would prepare a table and you would report the Kornbeck alpha of the constructs that you have. Mention the number of items that you have within that particular scale. And that's how you would report it. Uh, if all of your items, all of your skills have the Kornbeck alpha above 0.7, great. Report that and say that, yes, your skills are reliable. And that's it. Now, we're moving on to the validity now. 
the validity uh, in the in the same manner that I've done it for one scale, you can repeat the procedure for all the skills that you have within your uh, research, and you can then collect all the information and report it in one single table related to the reliability. We are moving on towards uh, validity analysis, uh, convergent and diver and discrete.